Welcome to Numeric Vectors Part 1. In this video, we're going to show how to create numeric vectors and also do some scalar vector mathematical operations. So in general, we end up working with vectors quite a bit in R. The simplest kind of vector that we'll see is a numeric vector, which consists of an ordered collection of numbers. You can also think of a vector as a linear array that has some length or some number of elements. And in each of those elements, there's some numeric entry. So even a scalar, like just a number one or two, could be considered a vector of length one. So let's start by creating vectors. I'm gonna open up a new R script here. And say I wanna create a vector called V. I'll type in V, and then remember I'll need to use this assignment operator, which is a less than sign, and then a hyphen. And to create a vector in R, there's a function that is a lowercase c, it stands for either combine or concatenate. And as this is a function, after the c, I need to have some parentheses. Inside of these parentheses, I'm going to type in the entries for this vector, and they're going to be separated by commas. So let's say I want to create a vector v that is just the numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4. If I execute this line of code, I end up getting a vector v, which is exactly 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so let's do some vector scalar operations. Now remember, a scalar is simply just one number. So I'll define an object x, uh, and that'll be a scalar, say, 2. Okay, so by default in R, when you're doing arithmetic with vectors and scalars, it's simply going to broadcast your scalar value across all of the elements of your vector. So if I add x and v together, it's going to add 2, which is x, to every element of v and return a vector that has the same length as the longest input. So the longest input here is v, it's of length 4. So when I execute this line, it's going to give me 3, 4, 5, and 6, which is just every element in v plus 2. Now it does the same thing for subtraction, so I could subtract v from x, and we end up subtracting every element of v from x. So 2 minus 1 gives us 1, 2 minus 2 gives us 0, and so on. Same is true for multiplication and division.